how to look younger at any age how to look younger at any age do you ever really sit and think about that in today's world we are all trying to look our best and uh, aging is a process that we're all going through regardless of your age we cannot stop that pro process we're all gonna be an his agent however what we can do is to find a way to slow it down what we can do is to find a way to look younger for longer what we can do is to find a way to look younger than our actual age when we talk about looking younger than the actual age if you are 50 it would be nice for you to look at least 40 or even 45 that is what we're talking about looking younger than your actual age not necessarily looking years and years and years and years younger because it's kind of impossible for that some people can look up to 20 years younger or 25 but when you're eating like looking 30 years younger or 40 years younger it's not really a common thing to do it is also vital for you to try your best to look at least 10 years younger so that's what we're going to talk about today how to look younger than your actual age how to basically take care of you overall today we're going to touch from the face all the way down to the toes and i'm just going to share some beauty tips with you all showing you te teaching you how to look younger for longer welcome to weekdays live with chichi also while we're at it if you have a tip for us don't be afraid to share that tip with us also because we are here because we are a group of people that is trying to age beautifully trying to age in reverse so share your beauty secret with us also now let's do some shout out hi claudia welcome jill is here hi tracy i've been missing you tracy Roxanne is here, but we're coming back with, with, with our group. We're definitely, because I've been missing this group. I was just thinking today about Andrea, like, yeah, so I know I'm missing the group, so we're bringing it back. So look out for the notification. We have Roxanne, we have Amira, we have Margaret, we have uh, Marcia Sam. Welcome, welcome. Auntie's here. Marcia Joe Girl. I think this is your first time. Welcome to our live uh, chat. Feel free to take part and feel free to comment. We're gonna share tips and how to age in reverse, how to look younger for longer. Brooklyn, New York is here. Maureen Sampson is here. Hi, darling, topic to chat about. Thank you for that. Marla is here also. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Now, how many of you watching right now look younger than your age? Or even if you are not sure about it yourself, how many of you have people telling you that, oh my goodness, you actually look younger than your age? If you feel that you look younger than your age, comment, comment, comment. And if you're watching also and you feel like you could do better, you could look younger, if you, you know, just switch up a few things, go ahead and comment, comment. I could start with myself first. I feel that since I have gained a couple of pounds, not a couple of pounds, a lot of pounds. <laughs> I've gained like about 30 pounds and that is the truth. I feel I don't look as young as I used to be with the excess weight on, right? And that is my issue. When I was um, lighter, I used to be able to tell people that I am way below my actual age. However, since I gained this 30 pounds, I don't feel like I can pass, okay? I don't feel like I can pass. I might borderline pass, but I don't feel like I can pass anymore because I used to tell people when I was 35 years old, um, I was telling people that I was like 28 and I was 35 years for a long time. Like, yes, I was 35 years old for a long time. And then I was 40 years old. I was 40 years old for a long time too. But now, I feel like if I say 40, I mean, some people I, I, I might pass, but ever since the weight gain, I feel like if I'm like, I'm 40 years old, people might question it a little like, mm. 
So that is just me. That is just me. And I feel like I could improve and that I could get myself to start looking party again. And that's what I want to do. So this is what I'm asking you all. And be honest and be open with it. Um, do you think you look your age or do you think that you actually look younger than your age? We're going to share some tips and how to look younger than your actual age. There's a lot of things that goes into looking younger than your actual age. It's not all about just your face. It have a lot to do with everything else. And even your behavior have a lot to do with how young you actually can look. So if you're new here, welcome to the live. What if you already have jewels online? Will you get visible results with your facial? Of course you will. Of course you will. I am actually living proof. I think I'm living proof to most of the things that I share, especially my anti-aging facial um, remedies, my anti-aging facial treatment. We're going to dive deep into that. Now, Jill, I always look younger. I am careful about the vitamins and supplement and food that I take in, and that is a key right there. Now, Brooklyn, um, Chichi, you still look good. I think your natural ear makes you look younger also. And I know that. I, I actually know that, but I know you're not far from me if you could help me with the hair care like the braiding or something like that since i stopped processing for for so long like like now i'm coming on the show i would have to be styling and doing all of that kind of good stuff and you know it takes time but thank you for that thank you for that now um amira my friends say that that i look younger and that's what i want to hear i want to hear people feeling and looking younger, looking their best. I got compliments all the time. I also noticed most of you saying that you have all these compliments on my OG subscribers. So you're all taking care of yourself. And Oak of Wings, welcome to our live chat. First time I'm seeing you here. Welcome, welcome. Brenda, Silvio, welcome to the live chat. Maureen, I think I did mention you um, before. So if you're new here, we do normally take the first five minutes and just you know, reach out to our subscribers to let them know how grateful we are, how much we appreciate them being here. And it's also nice to just, you know, give each and every one that is early, just the time of the day to acknowledge them. So do not click off when you see we're doing this part of the show. It is very, very necessary because without you all, there is absolutely no show. Without you all, we would not have Chichi Beauty Channel. So I like to just, you know, acknowledge you especially when you're early on the show so the first thing we need to know is that there are areas on you that actually show your age way faster than some and some of those areas when you take a look at yourself like if you're looking at yourself now where on you do you think that you are showing your age if you know where you show your age really really fast comment 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 where you show your age i'm just looking at the comment um section right here all right so take uh, let me see who is yeah okay here it is i am 60 and i've always okay here let me just highlight this before i continue i'm in my 60s and i've always looked in in my late 30s but now showing wrinkles around my neck and the reason why i want to highlight this because we do have this as one of the areas that actually show your age so when you look at yourself right now you're going to be seeing most times the upper body right what really show your age your hair your face your neck your hands these are some of the areas that actually show your age really really quick and one most important area that i'm missing out is your eyes so when we're aging our eyes face overall but also our eyes our neck our hair our hands show our age now some people is going to be like no when i gain weight like i'm saying oh when i gain weight but the honest truth is there's a lot of people out there with a lot of weight on and look very very young so i don't really think that a the weight is so much of an issue in terms of how young you look i think the face the neck the hands this area and here is one more important thing why that could show your age your behavior 
Some people look really, really young and they behave really, really old. Okay. So the behavior also have a lot to do with it. Okay. So don't be because you're 70 years old or you're 60 or you're 50. Don't try to behave 50. Okay. Don't try to act like you're old or be telling people I'm so old. Like, no, be as young as you can be. Get your jump rope and jump. If you go outside and you see the kids them jumping rope, jump rope too. You know what I mean? This is going to help you to keep looking younger for longer. And yes, your teeth. That is also an issue. The teeth. However, one of the reasons why I don't um, stress the teeth is because some people take offense by it. Like when you talk, I don't know. I don't know. But if I'm wrong, tell me, guys. When you come on and you talk about teeth, people tend to take offense by it like they don't want to really talk people like it to be back door but yes your teeth can actually aid you on my channel i have a wide variety of teeth whitening ingredient the teeth whitening recipe that actually work help to get rid of coffee stain and now i normally tell people it doesn't matter if your teeth is twisted and I am I could talk about twisted teeth because I grew up with double row teeth. It doesn't matter if your teeth is twisted, crooked, or whatever. Once they look clean, once they look white, then you are good to go. Okay. Listen carefully. Once your teeth is clean and look white, you are good to go. Now I know that your teeth is not gonna look pearly white like mine. If you do not get them professionally done, I got mine done. Yes, I did. And I did not. That's one thing I didn't hide. I come on my channel. I tell you all, I'm going to take care. I'm going to do something for me. And what I did for me was to take care of my teeth. Now, with that said, I still have to maintain to make sure that they don't get stained. So I use all my amazing remedies. And we have like one with ginger and baking soda. That one is good. So you have no excuse not to try some things to get that teeth to look white. So the teeth could aid you, as I said, and I know some of you don't like talking about it, but it's a part of you. Get some home remedies. If you do not have the funds to go and get the teeth done, since you mentioned it, I'm taking it out of the way first. If you do not have the funds to get the teeth done, go and try some home remedies. On my channel also, I think I have about three to four sponsors where they sponsor us for teeth whitening kit that was really pretty reasonable price. Some of those kits that you can use at home also work. Now, you also have this toothpaste that I, it's not a sponsor video. This is a toothpaste that I've used for a long time. It is Crest 3D. That actually works also on the teeth to have to whiten the teeth. All right. So with that said, let's get, see, I could tell people it's getting off once you start talking about teeth. All right. So let's move on. We are here. We are talking about how to look younger for longer, how to look good at any age. So the first thing, well, we talk about the teeth, even though that was further down on the line. Whether you're worried about tightening your jawline, lifting or sculpting your cheekbone and preventing aging around the eyes, facial massage should be incorporated in your skincare routine. So we're gonna talk about the face, massaging the face. We're gonna talk about the neck, what to do on the neck for the neck to look younger and we're going to also talk about your hair we're going to talk about your hands and we're going to talk a little bit about your behavior and we're going to talk a little bit about makeup okay that's what we're going to touch for those of you who are just coming and while you're here if you're just joining give us a thumbs up feel free to ask questions I refuse to do a show without taking questions, even if it have nothing to do with the topic. You're my subscriber. You have some issues about your skin, my natural remedies. Go ahead and ask, and I'm here to answer. In between, talking about how to look younger at any age. Now, let's get something out of the way really, really quick. Let's talk from the head, the hair. How many of you really and truly take care of your hair? Whether you're wearing natural, whether you are wearing a wig, whether you are, you know, having braids or um, whatever your style you are, you are wearing, how many of you spend that time to take care of your hair? Your hair also is a vital part of how you look, whether you look older or whether you look younger. Now, 
I like gray hair, okay? I like gray hair. I wear a lot of gray hair. I wear a lot of wig, gray hair, gray hair, gray hair. So it doesn't matter if you have gray hair. These days, gray hair doesn't make you show your age. So don't come and tell me like, oh yeah, because I have gray hair. You can style that gray hair and it can look really nice, like really, 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 really nice. So what you need to do is to comb your hair. Comb your hair. How many of you always, always just put your hair up in a ponytail? How many of you always only put your hair up in a ponytail? Your hair is always in a ponytail like that. Let it down sometimes. Comb it out sometimes. Shake it out sometimes. Switch it up sometimes. Put a little color in it sometimes. This is actually going to let you look younger than your actual age. Your hair is very, very important. Now, let's go to the eyes really quick. Well, not really quick. Let's go to the eyes. Now, how many of you really, really take a look at your eyes? Take a look at your eyes. There are some factors that cause your eye area to look older, okay? Factors that cause, you're talking about the crow's feet, which is right here, wrinkle under the eyes, and also deep coloring in the eyes and also hollow under eyes. These are some of the factors that cause you to look older and most people will notice that you're getting older when they start happening the deep hollow on the eyes the crow's feet right here wrinkles under the eyes also the dark on the eye circles and some people even have the eye bags now what do you need to do to control or take care of this you got to focus on taking care of your eyes we're having a 25 day skincare challenge and on this challenge we talk all about these things how to take care off your eyes for it to look more wide awake for it to look more younger how to get rid of the crow's feet right here how to get rid of the under eye wrinkles how to get rid of the eye bags the puffy eyes and all of that good jazz so take care of your eyes by having a high care routine did you know that you do not need only a facial overall facial routine but you need a high care routine now how do you do that how do you do that? First of all, you need an eye cream. You need to know how to clean the areas around your eyes. So I'm gonna do that really quick for you. For those of you out there who do not spend enough time on the eye area, it can actually age you. When I am tired, you can just look at me on my in my eyes like now and you can see that I am tired or I'm stressed out or something. And that's actually make me look older. And I'm sure that it will make you look older too. So what you do, have a, a, anything that you're doing to your face, continue to do it, but make sure to add that extra two minutes to take care of your eyes. How to do that is to make sure to clean the area around your eyes. How do you clean the area around your eyes? I normally encourage people to get a wash rod, a soft wash rod, a very soft one, because some of them is coarse, and you just make sure to wash the areas around the eyes, even underneath and above, at least once per day spend that extra three minutes and do that and also that wash rag is going to help to exfoliate your under eyes your upper eyes and the eyes and i do this in my 25 day skincare challenge where i show you when you're referring to that eye area this is the area that you cover when people talk about the eye area a lot of people just draw the line right here and they feel like that is the eye area on my channel i expect you all to go all the way out here right where your ear meet here make that triangle right there and come right down that is your eye area and the reason why i'm calling that because right here where you have the crow's feet goes hand in hand with your eyes so when you're treating your eyes when you're trying to get your eye area to look younger this is a part of it okay i am making the crease right here because i really don't have it and at my age i should and that is the truth at my age i should have this i don't but there's millions of people out there that have the crow's feet right here obvious so that's your eye area you're gonna clean that eye area and once that is done you're gonna get a good cream a good eye cream or a good eye serum, and you're gonna use it when? Twice per day, believe it or not, twice per day. 
add it to your skincare routine twice per day you get that serum you can even use some oil like an oil that is rich in vitamin a that is going to help with the dark under eye circles and it's also going to help with the fine lines and wrinkles one such oil could be the cucumber seed oil it could also be the kiwi oil or a good serum we have a wide variety of companies out there that make some really really great eye cream and eye serum or you can try one of mine that i make on my channel page, go on it, you'll see a whole set of recipes for eye serum, eye cream. Those are good also because I use in, I, I use real good natural ingredient to make those eye cream and serum. And the reason why, because I am using it for myself also. So if you look and you see my eye cream or my eye serum, know that I make it for myself and I share it with you. So I'm not gonna shortchange the ingredients that I use in it. I do my research and I use ingredients that are known to clear the wrinkles under the eyes, clear puffy eyes, get rid of under eye circles, and also get rid of wrinkles right here. So buy one or try a homemade one. Now when you apply your eye remedy, eye treatment, eye cream, and this is some marula oil that I have right here. You do not need a lot, okay? And take a look at this, guys. Take a look at what I'm gonna do right here. Okay, see right here for your eyes, one drop. You don't need more than that under your eyes. One drop of whatever you're using. Personally, for me, when I you know tell people how to take care of their under eyes, I like to tell you, yes, I'm missing a nail. I like to tell you to warm whatever you're using warm it up warm it up warm it up like this and when that is done then you are gonna put it under your eyes when you apply your eye cream you are gonna do something like this and you're gonna press it press it and take a look remember the circle i show you guys this the, the triangle press it press it press it and i'm coming right back under and i'm going out and i'm going out look where i'm going i'm going right where the crow's feet is and some people do that and they're done but i also like to encourage you to take the same serum or cream and press it above the eyes right under where i make that line right under your brow bone and all that area is getting all that good treatment and when that is done you go back in and you do it a little faster you dab it dab it dab it because now you're massaging under the eyes honestly guys don't take my word for it what i want you to do is to try it try it for a week and come back on my daily show and tell me if you see any difference under your eyes that's all i'm asking you to do is to try it because once you try it for a week now you need at least six weeks to see major difference okay but i'm just saying try it for one week and come back and especially for those of you who also have that eye bag the same goes for you apply the, the the treatment and then you massage it massage it make sure to clean it first and then come back and leave a comment some of you watching already know it works so for all of you watching that are new try it. that is going to take at least five years off you at least five years off you just by getting this area in that triangle on your face to look better it will take at least five years off you and as i said don't take my word for it try it for yourself and come back we're gonna move on but let's take some comment today we are sharing tips and how to look younger for longer how to look younger than your actual age you are 40 you want to look 30 you are 50 you want to look 40 you are 60 you want to look 50 can be lower but we're just sharing for 10 years. At least 10 years is good. And just by doing your eye area, that could take five years off you. Comb your hair nice. Do your high area. Five years. Five years. Let's set some questions, especially for some new um, visitor. And then we're going to move on. All right. So, um, Amira. Uh, is the printout for the week will be yes it, that will be out tonight hi Wanda welcome to the show and then we have um Lynette I noticed that's one side of my face has larger pores and a little more fine lines than on the other side and that is normal 
that is that is pretty pretty normal one side of your face is also bigger than one side <laughs> did you all know that did you and one side is always more lifted than the other and if you do bio and stuff like that you know what i'm talking about we won't get into that today but the same thing goes and that is why people normally when they're taking picture they're talking about oh i'm gonna turn my good side that's so that's that's pretty pretty normal but i know you're gonna see great transformation on your face lynette because you're doing the challenge and when the challenge is over continue to watch our show and continue to do what you're doing because you're gonna be blown away because your skin is gonna get better it is gonna get better and I see you're determined, so just keep on going. My question is about what kind of sunscreen you use. I didn't grow up wearing it. Oh my goodness, this is a good, 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 good question. Now, I'm going to be having a show sometime this week talking about sunscreen. I'm going to be having a show. Some, I'm not sure if it is Wednesday or Thursday, but one of those days, I'm going to have a show talking about sunscreen like all you need to know about a sunscreen now to answer your question what kind of sunscreen you need to wear you got to find a sunscreen where you live okay because there's a wide variety of sunscreen brands that are out there and some people could get certain sunscreen in certain country and then you can't get it however if you come and watch that show you are gonna know how much you need for your skin okay that's what we're gonna do however let me tell you what you probably um trying to ask now get yourself a sunscreen 30 40 50 60 okay that's all i'm saying right now anyone that is out there go inside the store get one on my channel that's the only thing i don't make i don't make sunscreen i don't know how to determine 40 SPF, 50 SPF, and the closest thing that I share with my subscribers that, you know, they could try in for sunscreen is aloe vera gel. That's the closest one. However, when it comes on to teaching you how to wear sunscreen and how to know how much SPF and all of that good stuff, I can tell you. So what you probably need to know right now is how to apply your sunscreen okay you could go you could get a sunscreen get one with aloe vera gel in it okay get one with aloe vera gel wide variety regardless of where you live you're gonna find one now 30 35 40 50 and it goes up but i'm gonna tell you just start using sunscreen go with like 40 40 45 30 35 up but we'll talk and people are gonna be like no no it should be seven but just listen to what I'm saying. You just started. Okay. All right. So here's what you might want to ask me. When should you apply it and where and how? Now, if you wear facial products like facial toner, facial moisturizer, facial serum, facial oil, it doesn't matter what you wear on the skin. The sunscreen should be the last thing that you apply on the skin. So if you're wearing like me now, I'm ready to go out and my face is done, believe it or not. And someone asked this question about makeup. My face is done. What I need, and I don't have any sunscreen. And most sunscreen is, is, is creamy. A little bit of that sunscreen, you rub it up in your hands like this and you put it over, over, over. It is protecting. It is the last thing that goes on your face. And some people are worried about like with the makeup. However, depending on where you live, your makeup base might already have sunscreen. So if you wear makeup, it might already have sunscreen. If you do not wear makeup, then put your moisturizer on. And on top of that, you put the sunscreen. Do not mix the sunscreen with the moisturizer. Do not mix the sunscreen with the moisturizer. If it's oil and stuff you're wearing, yes, mix it with the moisturizer, but the sunscreen go on top. Do not OD with the sunscreen. Two little drops, it's mostly cream formula or gel formula, two little drops, warm it in your hand, press it on the skin. Now, if you're gonna be out all day in the sun, you will have to take that sunscreen with you because after about one, two to three hours all of that strength decreases the strength decreases we don't practice that how many of you walk around with your sunscreen apart from when you're going to the beach comment 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 how many of you actually walk around 
with your sunscreen apart from when you're going to the beach i don't even though i know the rules i don't but i'm just telling you that you know okay but 90 percent of people don't practice that however the sunscreen is the last thing you put on your face and you don't need a lot it don't have to be like all gel up all of that no one two drops warm it up press it on top of whatever you're wearing and you are good to go especially when it comes on to my race people always so thank you lynette two hours people always not we're not like okay i don't want anyone coming at me so i'm just gonna talk for myself i was not educated on sunscreen and my family members i'm just talking for me because i was gonna be you know a little general generalize you know my skin color and all of that but some people think that because we look like this we're not supposed to wear sunscreen and it's a myth it's a myth skin cancer is no respect ter of skin color skin cancer is no respecter of skin color some people with darker skin color and don't even try to question me and that and like no melanin that pigmentation blah 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 some people with darker skin color burn even faster than people with lighter skin tone let's not use the word color i think we need to stop and i need to stop too because i think when we use color it's old old and from the time we put color there it make the whole sentence seem different make this i'm old school so it made the whole sentence seem different so it doesn't matter what your skin tone is if you're at the lightest spectrum wear your sunscreen if you're at the darkest spectrum wear your skin sunscreen don't talk about melanin don't talk about those things don't talk about because you did so much strong melanin you don't burn blah 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 yes and as i said and i'm going to repeat it skin cancer is no respecter of your skin tone so wear it most here in america most um your 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 beauty product your foundation for it to pass it have to have some form of a sunscreen in it i don't think no which i will need to research if there's a guideline of how much but i know it have to have at least 15 percent of sunscreen so if you already have your base with daytime moisturizer also daytime moisturizer also contain sunscreen most daytime moisturizer contains sunscreen if you're out there right now and you have access to a well different country different thing but here in america if you're going to label it daytime moisturizer you are also you also need sunscreen in it so that is how you wear sunscreen whether it's in your product if it's not in your product you apply it over the last thing on your face and you need to apply it especially if you're out in the sun all day you need to apply that at least every two hours little goes a long way you do not need to overdo it i think i spent a long time talking about sunscreen let's move on i do not know that before i go um vitiligo i don't know i am supposed to wear it anyway yes you're supposed to wear it now um i have sunscreen in press and reapply every two hours very very good very good and that is it one that do and um who else here commenting um good day i always watch your program i have under eye bags and neck wrinkle wrinkles what should i do and that bring me to um i have some notes but i'm not gonna follow the notes i'm gonna go by the comment that bring me to the neck okay we're done with the eyes now we're done with the eyes and we're moving to the neck how many of you take care of your neck Comment, comment, comment. This is, I, I should have wear a more open top today. This is one area that also make you look way older than your age. Most people do not focus on taking care of their neck. A easy way to take care of your neck is whatever you're doing to your face, also go ahead and do it to your neck. And not only your neck, but your neck and decollete. When we talk about the decollete, we're talking about all the way out here. From here, all the way to the shoulder right there, that is the neck and decollete. Now, how many of you wear summer dresses? 
How many of you wear summer dresses? Or you live somewhere where you wear it summer all the time? Did you know? Do you ever hear about crepey looking neck? How many of you ever heard about crepey looking neck? That is when all of this area is all dry and rough looking. And that also comes when people don't exfoliate the skin. Now, when it comes onto your neck, you're going to take care of your neck as much as you take care of your face. So whatever you do to the face is what you do to the neck. To have your neck looking amazing, the first thing you need to do is to exfoliate. How do you exfoliate? You use the same facial scrub and exfoliate the neck. Exfoliate in the neck simply means scrubbing your neck. And also, I always recommend on this channel that you get a washcloth and right during the week when you're taking your shower, spend that extra minute and really take that washcloth and rub your neck. It makes a big difference because you're exfoliating your neck daily. Then two times for the week, go ahead, use a sugar scrub, use a coffee scrub, use a baking soda scrub, use an oatmeal scrub, just make a good scrub or buy a scrub and exfoliate your neck. How do you treat your neck after that? You're going to use the same serum, the same moisturizer, the same oil on your neck or buy a neck and decollete cream. They have it out there. Neck and decollete. I try to make neck and decollete cream for myself and I find I'm putting the same ingredient that I use on my face in the neck and decollete cream. So I just stop and whatever I use on my face, that's what I use on the neck. Now, here is the key for younger looking neck. How many of you stretch your neck? Like you do your exercise and you stretch and you elongate that neck and you do all you need to do for the neck. Don't stop doing these things. Exercise that neck. Not only when you're going to work out, but try to exercise the neck on a regular. Now, here is the good part that you're all waiting for. How do you get rid of wrinkles on the neck? You get rid of wrinkles on the neck by using a product that is just as the face, rich in wrinkle fighting ingredient. Now, what are some of the wrinkle fighting ingredients? You're gonna have retinol, which is really vitamin A. You're gonna have a vitamin C that is gonna help to reduce wrinkles and fine lines on the neck. So you're gonna apply these neck creams and serum, which are the same anti-aging, facial creams and serum on the neck. But here is the best part of it. When you apply these on the neck, you are going to break yourself in the habit of massaging, massaging, massaging. And how do you massage your neck? You mostly go up and we have videos showing you how you can massage your neck. Now there's a shortcut and the shortcut is Whenever you are applying your neck cream, your neck serum, your neck oil, you just massage your neck right away when you're applying it. And that is going to take care of massaging your neck daily. However, spend at least once per week and give your neck a good neck massage. And that's something you don't have to go to the professional to get done. Watch a few YouTube videos. I have a few on my channel also. Follow after a while, you're gonna, it's second nature, you know exactly how to do it. That is also gonna take at least two more years off the way you look. Your hair is combed, your eye hair is looking good, and your neck and decollete hair is looking good. It's gonna take a couple of years off you, and that is no joke. And don't forget to do those neck exercises, and now you can show your neck off. Some people don't take care of their neck when you look the darker ear because the skin on the neck tend to fold in easily so you got to really focus on it you got to focus on it just the way you focus on your face now here is another thing that is important for the neck the vitamin c the vi and it doesn't matter where you fall on the skin tone spectrum some of you don't know that if you have really really light skin you still get darker looking neck how many of you know that some of you guys really, really don't know. And sometimes you have all that crusty looking thing going on here on the neck. Dead skin cells that need to be exfoliated. When I make my recipe for getting rid of darker looking neck, normally I say dark, but nowadays I say darker because when I mean darker, it means that it doesn't matter where you fall on the spectrum. You can have 
darker looking skin you can have dull skin you can have rough skin which you need to exfoliate and that goes for the neck a good remedy for your neck for exfoliating is baking soda you can use some baking soda with some coconut oil and exfoliate that neck you can use some blended rice add a little bit of a lemon or lime juice or zest to it and exfoliate your neck when it comes on to exfoliating that is one thing that is so easy to make in your kitchen take for instance your short and fun what in what special products do you think that you should save the funds for you should save the funds for like serum and moisturizer you leave out the, the scrub because you can make the scrub at home you have sugar you can make a scrub you have rice you can make a scrub you have oatmeal you can make a scrub okay so you have ingredients you have baking soda you can make a scrub so you short and fun leave the scrub to make for yourself and buy that serum and buy that moisturizer okay and we have a lot of special scrub on our channel that you can actually make in your kitchen so definitely guys do not shy away so i was talking about vitamin c for the neck because you also need some skin brightening ingredient on the neck and that is why vitamin c is a major vitamin to use on the neck and if you do not have vitamin c um a natural way is whip up some like my um my orange peel vitamin c that is also going to have to brighten the neck or you can choose to use skin brightening ingredient like a little bit of a turmeric that is going to have to brighten the neck and you can actually add a little bit of a turmeric to your baking soda and your coconut oil next crop okay you can also try some potato those are some known ingredients for lightening and brightening the neck and those are natural if you don't have natural and you already have your store bought go ahead but don't forget wash your neck scrub that neck and use your products while massaging the neck gonna help to take a couple of years um, off your face if you have any question go ahead and comment don't forget guys give me a thumbs up so that I you know they'll send around our video I heard um, taking a cold bath or shower from time to time help with wrinkles yes and that's something that we do on our channel we tend to encourage you to dunk your face in ice water we tend to encourage you to make those ice cube out of like green tea and stuff like that and use it to massage your face especially in the mornings that is gonna plump the skin up that is gonna give your cheek a flush and it's just gonna give you a nicer toner firmer look we also have challenge that we do so come Sunday if you all want us to do an ice challenge we have been asking people now that we have a few new people we have a show Sunday at 4 30 p.m. and we've been trying to get this ice water challenge up and running so if you're interested in that come on send me um, a link chichibuti gmail.com let's see if I could find it chichibuti gmail.com and tell me you want to be on the ice water challenge what do you do on the ice water challenge we just let you bring a bowl with water and ice you dunk your face in there and the first person the last person that is up out of the water win the challenge why we do it because we encourage people to dip their face in ice water to reduce wrinkles and fine lines and also to refresh and hydrate the skin we also encourage people to use an ice roller on their face little things that you can do for yourself that can help you to look younger for longer all right samuel welcome to the channel um how can i make my face uniform oh this is a good one a kind of cream i can use without hydroquin oh you are at the right place now there's a lot that goes into making your face look uniform okay if you get an hydroquin and we talked about this yesterday believe it or not on our live show if you missed that show go and watch it yesterday video we talk about hydroquin if you are using any form of a skin lightening or dark spot remover on your face and you're using it all over your face you're not going to get an even tone what you need to do is to spot treat the darker areas first if you want to know how to spot treat go and watch come on our 25 day skincare challenge on friday 
we were spot treating. We were telling you everything you need to know about spot treating. So if you, even if you're using that hydroquin, no more than 2%, and you have a dark spot on your face, you're going to focus on that spot first. You're going to put it on the spot on the spot only when the spot is lightened and get to the to match the rest of your face that means the spots is all gone how do you get your face to look uniform now it's a skincare routine a skincare routine that you got to do every day every day you have to cleanse your skin and use your beauty product exfoliating the skin is major for even skin tone Exfoliate in the skin is major for even skin tone. Skin shots every month exfoliating the skin will get rid of the dead skin cells that is shedding, producing new scalp, new skin, new cell rejuvenation. And with that continuous exfoliating and using your beauty products, it's gonna lighten where need to be lightened, brighten where need to be brightened, and that's how you're gonna end up with uniform skin come on over and continue to watch my channel continue to watch and try some of my recipes but most of all check out our 25 day skincare challenge because that could actually help to transform your skin in 25 days we're at day 14 today but it doesn't matter you can start over and we have the printout if you want the printout you can send for it or you can go on my website at chichibeauty.com and just print the printout we are from day one to day 14 tonight we're gonna add the other so look out for it but come on over you could learn a thing especially if you're serious about getting your skin to look good now we have um Indraani, Indraani. I'm watching from India. Welcome to the live. Now, um, Marcia Joe Girl, chilled cucumber. Yes, chilled cucumber is not going nowhere. Absolutely nowhere because it really helped to deep up. And we make a lot of remedies using the potato, uh, the, the cucumber. One of my favorite that I use personally to get rid of my dark on the eye circles is the cucumber mixed with parsley if you go on my dark circle remover playlist you're gonna find a lot of remedy use remedies using the parsley leaves because it is what actually changed the game for me personally when i said change the game it changed the game so i use it to make a wide variety of other recipes vitamin k is what you look for when you're looking for something good for your eyes under eyes vitamin k is the culprit culprit in a very good way so vitamin k you're gonna find like in the parsley you're gonna find it like in the kiwi and stuff like that and that is why the kiwi oil the cucumber seed oil and all that good oil is good for your under eyes now we're moving on and lynette might take the challenge and i i kind of feel like you're gonna um come on over and that would be so good now i saw on tv that looking down on the cell phone and tablet are starting to lose to lose loosen up your skin the funny thing i was reading that article this week i think no it's a new week i was reading that article just the other day about looking down on your skin and all of that and um i saw that too i actually saw that don't know if it's true or it were we gotta you know check it out more but i actually saw that um queen carrie i'm at work so i can't stay on but hello and hello to you and i like when people at work and sneak and watch my show um marcia now jill i do everything but neck exercise all right so that let me know that i should actually bring some more neck exercise videos on and you know talk more about it so don't neglect your neck and add a vitamin c to your skincare now let's talk a little bit about your entire body eating right is vital okay eating right is vital you know when you um start to go off when you start to find this old cholesterol and all of that kind of thing going on eating right also help to for you to look younger for longer and i talk about gaining extra weight earlier however it depends on where you're gaining weight. If you're gaining weight in the stomach area, your belly region, this is really not good for your health. That is where I personally gain weight because it is covering up all of your vital organs. And that is why it is really important to keep that area 
you know, at a reasonable size. I'm saying that because mine is out of whack right now. Keep it at a reasonable size. And to do that, yes, it's all go back to trying to exercise. It doesn't matter how old you are. Walking upstairs is good. You know, I was doing a research recently and they said the best exercise that you can give yourself is to is stairs climbing. So if you have stairs in your house, use them up, up and down, up and down the stairs. That is going to help. You don't really necessarily have to always do the weights and stuff like that. You can do it in your own way. And if you get that in daily, that will take a couple hours off you, gradually a couple of days, a couple of years off you. So it's very good to do that. And drink a lot of water. I am trying to drink that water because water is really, really good. That is going to help you to stay younger for longer. Now, the clothes that you wear don't have to be expensive clothes, okay? I actually know that some of the best fitting clothes are clothes that cost little to nothing. The thing is, you cannot, well, I know to each his own, to each his own, okay? And then I'm gonna just touch on a sensitive um, topic right now. To each his own, however, looking younger does not mean you have to wear like really, really short shorts, or you have to wear like really, really short dresses that don't have anything to do with it, okay? For some people are feeling like if they dress themselves a little, a little modern, I'm gonna use the word modern, then it's making them look old. There's a big difference between styling and trashy looking, and there's a big difference between what you wear in terms of whether it makes you look younger or older. Wearing spaghetti strap don't mean that you're going to look older or you're going to look younger. It's how you put yourself together when you are wearing what you're wearing. So always be mindful because there's some people out there, they so want to look younger for longer that they go, they would want to wear the same little teenager looking clothes and thinking that, oh, this is going to make me look younger. No, know your body type. Know your body type because you could put on and there's just this one shorty short words in my head, but I'm not going to say it. But you could put on, let's say, a short dress, like really, really too short. And there are also decency that come out in, okay? You could be decent at any age, all right? All right, so you are going to put on this little shorty short. It's just an example, guys. Dress, and you're going to wear it because you're like, oh, because it's such a shorty shorty dress that these young people are wearing, it makes me look younger. Nope, 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 nope. It don't make you look younger. It make you look trashy. It don't make you look younger, okay? Wear appropriate clothing. I'm not saying that you got to wear something that look like an old granny and you. I'm not saying that. Show some cleavage. Yes, show some cleavage even if you're 99 years old. Show your little cleavage. Make sure the neck and decollete look good, okay? Your boobs don't have to be all out there like that. You don't have to wear these little shorty, shorty shorts that all you, your bum bum is showing, and that is not making you look younger. When you look decent, that's good enough. Your face look good. Your hair look good. Appropriate clothing for your body type, that is how you look younger, okay? Your eye area is decent enough. You put yourself together. That's what we're talking about. All right, so wear, be mindful of what you wear because it's a thin line between <laughs> looking decent and looking trashy. Don't wear clothes that you think are going to make you look younger. Be selective where you show. You want to look young and fresh. Wear your dress at a decent length. However, for that dress, you could have a V cut. You could go sleeveless, okay? And that is going to give you that youthful appearance. Your neck is elongated. You sit upright. That's going to make you look younger. We were talking about that the other day. Sitting upright. Now, I sit and I hunch my back nuts. Now, when I sit like this and I sit upright, it's going to give me a more youthful look. So practice these little things to look younger. Make your hands look good. Do your nails whether you wear nail polish, yes or no. Your natural nails, you have them file nice. If you wear artificial nail, you have them file nice. If you wear nothing at all, just make them look right. You don't even have to wear natural nail polish. Once they file 
property properly that's gonna give you a more youthful appearance okay the way you speak is also have a lot to do with how you look okay I know some of us is loud like you want to look young and fresh and nice looking just be calm like don't be like shouting and screaming and kicking and biting like no that don't help you to look you know younger it just make you look like anyway thin line between looking classy and looking younger anyway but it goes on and on looking classy could actually help you to look younger and classy don't mean you have to be rich classy don't mean you have to be rich you can take your simple little dress at home you comb your hair you take care of your skin your eyes look good your neck look good your hair comb you have your flip-flop on and you do look younger your behavior your attitude all of that goes hand in hand in how you look all right let me take some if you agree with me comment if there's something i'm missing out comment comment give let me hear your two cents good evening oh you're a lady thank you for a wonderful job you're doing here i need help on how to get rid of wrinkles on the mouth this morning i made that video this morning i make a short showing you how to get wrinkles on the mouth it don't post yet so i'm wiping right here because i'm going to show you something really really quick so most people when they start getting wrinkles on the mouth you're getting wrinkles right here on the upper lips right here on the upper lips then you have the deep parentheses right here which is your laugh line right here some people tend to get um wrinkles also so here what you do for the upper lips it's pretty easy make sure you're using an anti-aging cream serum or oil oil that is rich in vitamin a retinol cream or soya bean oil okay which is in on the vegetable oil so you take your fingers like this and one of my nail is gone guys so you take your fingers like this and you can do it like this 20 times or 10 times okay you can do it like this but you have to do it every day for the upper lips if it's the upper lips you have to do that every day and after 10 times then you can go back in and you can do it like this believe it or not it works because it helps to boot circulation and if you're out there and you have very very thin lips thin upper lips start doing this and come back and tell me what happened after two weeks okay if you have very very thin lips Come back and tell me what happened after two weeks when you're done with that still go in that laugh line and bring it up all the way to your ear temple and this goes for both male and females okay go for both male and female so you do the upper lips and then you do that what you're doing right here you are getting rid of the wrinkles not only around the upper lips but the areas around your mouth that also help to create the wrinkles right there and that is a facial massage you do that every day do it before you go to bed and guess what if you work somewhere where you have to sit at the decks or something like that or even when you're on your lunch break chilling with nothing to do make sure your hands are clean and just do that you don't care if people is looking at you and wondering what the hell they're doing just go ahead and do it just do it anytime you get to do it you do it and come back in about three weeks and tell me what you notice just do that just do it and come back and tell me i can go to the goodwill and find something that will normally cost some money but i'll pay three to five dollars and that is also good great marla i am cooking and listening at the same time loving the chat and learning a lot thanks Gigi. what is it that you're cooking now um if you have a question guy comment 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 okay so that was the same thing that i just answered now if you're just watching without um giving us a thumbs up now is the time for you to give us a thumbs up we're just here sharing tips and how to look younger for longer so we talk about a lot of things today we focus on the face we talk about the hair we talk about the neck and deck low tie and guys don't forget your hands i have several recipes on my channel showing you how to take care of your hands make sure to exfoliate them make sure to get them to look as much as good as your face when it comes to the sign of old age there are a few major ways we begin to show them face body and mind face body 
on mine. And that is what I try to cover today, guys. How we are showing age is on the face, all of that on our entire body, the way you carry yourself, the way you treat your body, the way you look in your clothes, and also your mind. And well, let's talk a little bit about this mind. You know how sometimes because you're at a certain age, you think that, okay, I'm at this age right now, so I am not supposed to be doing this. I'm not supposed to be doing that. I am not supposed to be doing that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Whatever it is that you normally do, do it until you can't do it no more, okay? You normally go for a run, go for that run. Do it until you cannot do it anymore. Do not sit and hold yourself. I refuse to sit and hold myself up. I refuse to tell myself that I'm aging. I know I'm aging, but I refuse to endorse that, okay? I refuse to endorse it. And here's another key that can help you to look younger for longer. Talk to younger people. Do you realize that some, some of us, because we're getting on in age, we don't talk to younger people? Talk to younger people. They're, not, they're witty. They know a lot of stuff. And you can learn a lot from them. Now, there are certain things that they do that you need to be doing too. Ask questions. How did you do that? Hmm. Don't, you know what I hate? And some of you are going to agree, and some of you are not going to agree. I do not like to be around an older person that like refused to learn how to use a phone. Like, bear with me guys. <laughs> I feel like it doesn't matter how old you are, you should know, you still do these things. It make you look younger. You don't wanna be there and as an older person and like you get in a phone call, you don't even know how to answer the phone. Like, no, no. I take it upon myself and I have patience. And if you are older and you're around me, you got to know how to use a phone. You got to know how to use your iPad. You got to know how to use these things because this is your window to the world. Okay. This is where you're going to go and read like what you need to do to keep yourself looking younger. This is where you're going to go and watch YouTube to see how you can make your brows make you look younger, how you can, you know, walk or, you know, things like that. To make you look younger don't sit down oh those are for young people and no mm -mm, mm -mm. try to look younger for your age and the attitude and the mind and all that can make you look old i see some young people and i'm calling them young 70 years young and they're behaving like they're 200. no your mind is still working. Your body is still functioning. Stop holding up yourself. Get up and do something. Get up and go for a walk. Get up and, you know, comb your hair. Get up and put some lipstick on and feel good. One of my subscribers sent me an email. I can't share the name unless I get permission. But one of my subscribers sent me an email and she sent her picture. She's 73 years old. 73 three years old, which I think 73 now is very, very young. Cause my aunt, she's 71 and she's so fabulous. Like, yeah, yeah. But for me, I would refuse for her to be old. Right. So she got to look fabulous. So she's 73 years old. And you know what she said to me, the, my subscriber, she said, take a look at my picture because I find that my face is looking, you know, like a little rough. She wanted to get her face very, very smooth and nice because she wanted to find a gentleman. And I was so happy, like, yes, this is the way to go. However, note, she wanted to look amazing, okay? She wanted to look younger than her age. She wanted to look fabulous, 73 years old, and she wanted to find herself a nice gentleman. She's starting with herself at first. I can't wait to see what's gonna happen because I'm writing up something nice for her. You know, to follow, to get her face, to look good, her eye area, and all. These are the things that I personally like. So some of you, I say that to say, it doesn't matter what your age is. You shouldn't be thinking old. You should be thinking young. And if you think young, your mind is thinking young. It's also going to make you look younger. Doesn't matter if you're 50, think 30. 
think 25. If you're a 70, think 40. And that is going to help you to look younger. If you agree, comment. If you don't, comment. But that is my personal belief. And I see it happen all the time. Have you ever seen like a, a lady that have children and when she was like very, very young and now she's like 60 and her children all grown up and sometimes you're wondering who is the mother? Have you seen some of that around? That's because she she's associated with all these younger people and it allow her to look younger. I know someone, an older gentleman, and he will never ever go to like a, a poker game for a golden ager. They don't, don't use those words anymore, but like golden agers, like, you know, people that are a little on the older side and they get together with all these kind of a group and bingo and all of these kind of things. He'll never go to any of these things. And you know why you won't go? Not because he's making himself old. He's not going because he thinks they're too old to be around. He want to be around younger people. Like if they were having a bingo with like young 30-year-old people, he would be like, yes, I can't miss that. I am going. But if it was like bingo for like golden age people, like he's not going because he's like, oh, when I'm around so many old people, they make me feel old. So associate yourself with younger people because you're going to learn a lot. And don't just look at the young people and criticize them because we tend to do that a lot. They say every generation blame the one before the, the one before or after or something like that. I, th I think it said blame the one before, but I think it should be after or whatever. But don't be like that. Make yourself look young and fresh. And if you're sitting down now and watching my channel and you never ever think that you could go in the kitchen and whip up a facial for yourself and dancing. Someone mentioned dancing. I got to put this. I got to highlight. Dance if you love it. Smile and laughter is help a lot. I am a dancer. I love, when I say I love to dance, I love to dance. When I set up my channel page where you guys could see me, hopefully in a studio where you could see me all the time, you're probably going to see I'm dancing a lot. I love, love, love to dance, even though my family say I can't dance. But I, I mean, I can't dance like the new dance and all this kind of popping, locking and all this kind of thing. I can't do that. But I can dance my whole little dance and feel good. But dance, yes, it helps. It really, really helps. All right. So, I, someone get burned easily from the sun if you get burned easily from the sun you need that sunscreen you do not leave without it and you make sure you buy daytime products that do have sunscreen in it okay protect yourself because as i said earlier the sun is no joke okay the sun is no joke any question before we close out guys my time is up and this evening it's all about facial peel right you are you are still living so live it up all the days of your life and this is like the perfect comment this is the perfect comment now if you are doing the 25 day skincare challenge or even if you're not a part of the 25 day skincare challenge we're going to be on tonight at 7 p.m 7 p.m eastern standard and we're going to be talking about facial peel chemical peel now, if you notice, I said chemical peel and I said facial peel because you can do a chemical peel at home. The word chemical sounds a little strong, but chemical in this instance is just acid. Like you have lactic acid, you have citric acid. That's what we're talking about. Hyaluronic acid. That's what we're talking about. So if you have no idea what a chemical peel or a facial peel is, or you have no idea what it does to the skin, or you want to learn how to do a chemical peel at home, come join us tonight, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, right here on this channel. Set your clock, come and come ready to learn. And if you have a recipe you want to share with us for a homemade facial peel, come on over. If you're new to my channel, you just watched today, guess what? You can join us later. We have the printout. You can send for it or go on my website, chichibeauty.com, and download that printout. Today is day 14, so tonight we're posting a new one. And come and learn how to do that chemical peel at home. Very, very important for you to watch the show, especially if you're new, especially if you're looking for bright, even skin tone. Someone just asked about how could they get their skin even. Join us tonight at 7 p.m. Eastern. 
for another in our series 25 day skincare challenge thank you for watching today this is weekdays with chichi beauty come back tomorrow we'll be here with more skincare tips more ways to enhance your life overall just sharing what we know and whatever you learn today you can also enhance on that by going and do some research for yourself and you know just get um in the know thank you so much for watching be good to yourself love you all and i'll see you soon bye bye